Alright. So I got everything put back together. Go ahead and show you what it looks like down here. So you guys can tell me all the things I did wrong. Sorry about the noisy light. <sighs> Alright, so right here is what I want to show you first. That's some baling wire. Had to put the uh, Missouri hillbilly touch on this. But anyway, there's some baling wire holding the, muff uh, the uh, glass pack in. Here's my custom muffler job. I use clamps all the way around. It's coming out over there. I replaced the center bearing. As you can see, there's the new center bearing. And here is the only thing I wasn't 100% sure I put back in right. That just seems awful close to my gibbo or gibo or Weebo or whatever the heck you people call it. And right there, I just want to make sure I'm hooking this thing up to the right places. Right there and right there. If that looks like that's in there right, let me know. I'm a little worried about that. And I think my gibbo looks pretty good, so I didn't worry about replacing it. I am going to change the transmission fluid here soon. And I'll scoot back here to the differential and as you can see I got the new diff in thanks to a buddy of mine who sent he's on the forum here he sent me one in the mail and you can see I've got my CV shafts hooked up the only thing is one of the CV shafts is missing one of these bolts this one, actually it's right there. Let's see if I get my light over here a little further. But anyway, that CV shaft right there, as you can see, it's missing one of those bolts. I tried putting a bolt in there, it stripped it out, and I think it's where the CV shaft, CV shaft connects to, there it is right there. I think it's where the CV shaft, I think it's this back part right back here, uh, where the flange is. I think the flange is stripping my bolts. So as you can see, I'm missing one of the bolts on the driver's side CV shaft. I don't know if that's going to hurt anything or not, but that's the case. I just put red line in the diff. It doesn't look like it's leaking or anything. Everything looks good back here. Here's the drive shaft that I was having so much trouble getting disconnected. Let's try to maneuver this camera in here so you can see this. But I ended up putting new bolts on the drive shaft. I'm just showing you guys everything in case you see something I did wrong. But I took it out today, went 70 miles an hour down the highway, 30 minute trip, went great. And I'm pretty happy so far. Anyway, sorry about the crappy camera technique here. If you guys have any uh, tips for me, let me know. Thanks for all the help. I appreciate it. Everything's working good now.